everyone, Stacy here today to show you all the fabulous gifts that Vera Bradley gave uh, us for our trip. Now, to give you an overview, if you're watching this video kind of out of context, uh, Vera Bradley selected ten ladies, nine of us went, uh, one couldn't make it, um, to a girlfriend's getaway uh, to their headquarters in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, and... I want to tell you up front, I'm not bragging. I, I am showing you how awesome this company is and how much they care about us as con customers. Um, and it's not like, oh, look what I got. You can't have that. Because you can have this too. Um, they want to do future trips with people, um, you know, with groups of women. And so we were the first. We were the guinea pigs to see how it goes. And um, if you're visible to the to the company, if you're participating, I uh, highly recommend joining Vera Bradley Buzz. Um, but if, you, if you're visible to the company, um, you too could get invited. Uh, now, obviously, I don't have any say <laughs> who goes. Um, but that said, they do watch these videos. And I was shocked how much, uh, how many people actually watch these videos from Vera Bradley. Um, so be visible to them. I'm not saying you have to jump on YouTube. But there's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's all sorts of social media. Um, be visible, uh, show them that you're a fan, and you too could go on a trip as well. Um, so I want to show you all the gifts that they sent us, and in, in the order that we got them. Um, so, <laughs> I really thought I was going to be the last person. I live in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota. I It takes forever for packages to get to me. Even Amazon Prime takes at least three days to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> so um we we formed a group um talking about you know the trip what to wear what to bring um and so we were finding out that there were um tracking numbers of um something coming in the mail from vera bradley and so i i downloaded the ups app and got my own tracking number within a couple hours of downloading the app which is an amazing app um, and saw that I was getting it. Well, I was home the day that it arrived. Um, it arrived with my box full of Carsons. And my husband was home, too, working with the roofer, <laughs> getting it, the house inspected uh, with the roofer, which passed with flying colors, by the way. Um, I was like, oh, no, he's going to see all this. I, I was like, the second, the second box, this big box. I didn't buy anything, I swear. And he was distracted anyway. So... <laughs> Um, but they, they sent us all luggage. Now, I got the in black. Um, other ladies got it in, uh, is it Paisley Petals? I think it's called. Um, but I got the all in black. And, of course, the, uh, interior here is moon drops. Um, don't mind my travel stuff. I still haven't completely taken out. Um, so they sent this little spinner. It's a 22-inch spinner. Uh, retails for $300. Um, to use for our trip and so I did and it was an amazing bag to take I'm so glad I did um, especially with my mishap trying to get back home I had an overnight delay and I uh, had to end up using a spare backpack I had at my in-laws as well as this so I was glad I didn't take two backpacks because I'm not sure how that would have worked um, so um, yeah I was just floored at first I thought this was it this was like oh and that's enough it would have been enough um, and, you know, I was the first one to get it, and I, I told him, I got luggage. They're like, open it up, see what's in there, see if there's anything inside. I was like, surely not. So I did. So I opened it. And what else was in there? Okay, they asked us an email, uh, what your favorite pattern is. So I put Heirloom Paisley. It was a really a tie between that and Lilac Medallion. Um, you know, I have the Carson and Lilac Medallion. And, um, I was like, if by some chance they give me a Carson and Lilac Medallion, I don't want two. So I chose a pattern that I don't have anything of. And it's beautiful. I love Heirloom Paisley. And so inside, we got a 311 Cosmetic, um, which had the bottles. Uh, I used this in another video. So it still has my stuff from, from my trip. They sent us an iconic triple zip hipster, um... Which, let's see here, I don't think has a tag on it. I don't see one. 
uh, in Heirloom Paisley. I love these colors. It's one of those patterns, and I, I mentioned this to Vera Bradley. I love looking at a pattern and seeing something different every time I look at it. That's one of the reasons why Heather is, is one of my favorite patterns. Java Blue is right up there, too. Heirloom Paisley is right up there with seeing uh, different things in the pattern, different colors. Um, so it's so cool. So they said Iconic Triple Zip Hipster. I, th I think I did take the tags off. I think I put them in um, in my office. And then an Iconic Vera Tote. The Vera. Um, people often ask, what's the name? The name is Vera. And there is the inside of it. Um, now, you're asking, did I take those with me? No, I did not. I did not take those two bags with me. Obviously, I used the the suitcase and the 311 cosmetic, which are amazing to travel with. Um, but my my Carson and Hawthorne Rose matched my outfits better. Um, so I ended up using those, and it was fine. Uh, most of the women did use one or both of these uh, bags on the trip. And they got various patterns, too. Snow Lotus and Lilac Medallion, Winterberry, Denim. Uh, just beautiful stuff. And we got a card. Beautifully handwritten by, I believe, Holly. Um, Stacy, we wanted to send you some new, some new luggage for your trip to Fort Wayne. It's always to fly into, your, into our hometown with your favorite Vera Bradley. See you soon, VB team. That beautiful stationery. Excellent handwriting. I wish I could write like that. Look at that envelope. So pretty. Um, it says Vera Bradley on the back there. Just such a nice personal touch. And, of course, that, that trim is Santiago there. Um, so thank you, Holly, for that. Um, beautiful handwriting. I, I, I write like a doctor. <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm, I'm actually left-handed, but my parents didn't know any better and taught me to write right-handed. So, yeah, it's, it's funky. But I do most things left-handed. Anyway, um, that's beside the point. Put that up. So that's what we were sent. Um, to our to each of our houses apartments and we're just floored by that by their generosity now I'm not gonna say you're gonna get if you do go on a trip in the future you're gonna get the exact same stuff um, that very well could change up but this is what we got on our trip okay so we get in my flight from Detroit to Fort Wayne had two um, other ladies that were on the trip we met up um, and, you know, we were friends on Facebook, so I knew who they were. Got to see Winterberry in the, in, for the first time in real life. I'm like, wow, such a gorgeous pattern. Um, our flight from Fort Wayne was like 40 minutes delayed or so, so we didn't have quite as much time at the hotel as we had hoped, but it was still plenty of time to get ready. Um, and then we each got our hotel room, stayed there at the Hilton Garden Inn in Fort Wayne. Uh, very nice hotel. They were very hospitable. hospitable. Um, and each of our rooms, we had a surprise waiting for us on our beds. I thought it was a pillow. It was so stuffed. But I also got an heirloom paisley tote. Um, I've already used it. I took it to church. It was oh, gorgeous. Love it. Such a great fall pattern. Um, and it was stuffed full of goodies. So, duh me, I opened it up and dumped it on my bed. And I broke my gorgeous... Buzz Cookie. It was a um, Vera Bradley Buzz, the Facebook group. If you're not in there, join. Um, answer the questions. I'm a moderator there. Join us. Um, there are people from higher up in Vera Bradley that are in there. A lot of Vera Bradley employees. They see our comments. They see our posts. Um, so I, I don't know of other companies that do that, that really watch for what their customers have to say. Um... That said, um, they had a bee cookie with a beehive, and I broke it. And I was starving. I didn't eat lunch. I had a couple power bars. The last time I had eaten was, like, a power bar was at, like, I don't know, 6.30 in the morning. And it was already, like, pushing to 2.30. <laughs> so I ate my cookie, which was amazing. It was made, I think, by Holly's sister, uh, who has a side company making cookies. Super sweet. Very good. Um, one of the ladies posted a picture of it on Instagram. I ate mine right away. <laughs> we also got, um, t-shirts, which I'm not going to show you the front because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. 
it is a bit of a sneak peek for um, the upcoming uh, next spring marketing campaign. But we got these t-shirts. There's the back of it. And it fits amazing. And I can't wait to wear it for a YouTube video. Um, once you see it, you'll, you'll know why. It's like, oh yeah, that's so Stacy. <laughs> so we got the t-shirts. Um, yes, I tried mine on right away to make sure it fit. We got the Playful Penguins No, Well, I'm sorry. I got Playful Penguins. What's inside is, um, you know, each person got a different pattern. And I've already used mine to take some notes for the trip. Um, but the mini notebook and Playful Penguins. There. Then, uh, I left the gift box at my in-laws. But um, I got the Playful Penguins Click Pin. Now, this is not the um, uh, the twisty pin that you see I, I, that I collect a lot of. Um, but this is very heavy duty. It retails for $20. And it's in Playful Penguins. Red. There's Playful Penguins. Gray. And you got red. Um, a super duper cute drink hugger. Buzzed with a B. Buzz haha -ha play on, you know, drinking. And then, of course, we have Vera Bradley Buzz. Retails for $9. Conversational drink hugger. Splash, splash dot indigo. Um, there. And the brand's chocolate, which I've already eaten. I just brought back my little um, informational thing. And then, just in case it rained, which there was no chance of, they gave us each a automatic um, mini umbrella. And I got Lilac Medallion uh, for $34. It retails for $34. There's a little push button there. Super cute. Not needed, but very much appreciated. And then another note inside. Stacy, welcome to Fort Wayne. We're looking sh forward to showing off both Fort Wayne and Vera Bradley. We hope these Fort Wayne treats make your stay more enjoyable. See you soon, the VB team. There, also in Santiago. Um, we did get a bottle of water, all the treats that we got. Um, oh, we also got popcorn, too, so kettle popcorn that I ate at the airport. Uh, they were all local to Fort Wayne. Of course, you got the brands there that you've you've heard me talk about before and mentioned in my blog. Um, but, yeah, everything was related to Fort Wayne. It was really cool because, obviously, I'm coming back to Fort Wayne in a few months. Not going to Everything goes right. <laughs> I lived there for, I think, eight years. Uh, my husband's from there. And so it was really cool to have a, a touch of home there. When we landed in the following airport, I texted my husband home with a little wink and a little kissy thing emoji. <laughs> he knew exactly what I was saying because it's home. Fort Wayne is home. So, um, so that was cool. Put this all back in here. Um, went on a trip. They took us to a nice restaurant at Catablu in Fort Wayne. They're at the Village of Coventry. Um, the interior is actually decorated by Barbara Bradley Backgard. So that was really cool. Uh, she was there at the dinner. Um, and a few other people from Vera Bradley. Um, went shopping. Um, I'm going to do a video on my shopping haul when my items get here. I had to have it shipped back to me. And, um, yeah, it's taking forever. Shocker. I'm the last one to get my stuff. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, obviously exhausted, been up since like 3, 3.30 that morning, hit the, hit the sack, got right back up early in the morning, had an awesome breakfast, um, they were very Bradley, and then we were doing on different tours, um, here, um, different, we had the tours of the different areas, uh, now that Wednesday we had toured the distribution center. And then Thursday, we we toured the um, uh, design center, and we each got name tags. Look at that. That's so cool. Mine's been beaten up a little bit, but um, beautiful lilac medallion there. Um, anyway, so the photographer took pictures of us as we were going along, and then we each got a thumb drive of all the pictures. So I'll be posting those on Facebook and Instagram, The Amazing Shopper, as well. Um, when it came time to uh, for the presentation for the Breast Cancer Foundation, uh, the director, Linda Hauk, I hope I pronounced that right, I'm sorry, Linda, if I didn't, um, did a presentation, uh, some stunning figures, I'm going to do another video on that. Uh, they've raised $30.3 million so far, 
Um, the Roundup, you know, when they ask you if you want to round up to the nearest dollar to donate to, um, uh, to their foundation, both in the stores and online, um, that alone has generated a million dollars towards breast cancer research. So keep doing that, ladies. Um, as a side note, um, they gave us this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold necklace here. Um, what's it say? Key to Hope. And that was an exclusive there. Um, it says that, that they've raised 20, over $28 million to breast cancer research. Um, but that wasn't to date. To date, $30.3 million. Um, so I can't wait to wear that. I think I'll go gorgeous with navy in particular. Um, and then if you didn't already have Barb's book, um, A Colorful Way of Living, uh, they did have books there for us. Um, and she signed each of them. So that was really cool. There's my itinerary, which we'll talk about in another video. There, she signed it for me. Ah! Stacy, loved having you at, here at Vera Bradley, Barbara Backguard, 2017. Oh, she's such an amazing woman. I just, oh, she's amazing. I, I just, the incredible amount of energy that woman has. Wow, can I just have just part of that? <laughs> we also got um, Beer Bradley books here from their 2017 classic for the Foundation for Breast Cancer. Um, it has ads in it. It talks about, you know, the tennis and golf classics that they have every year. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, of course, we talk about the events they have, like Tickled Pink. Uh, Paint the Town Pink and Fort Wayne, stuff like that. And we each got a shirt. This one I can show for sure. Might be a tad big on me, but I really want to wear it um, for uh, my book review. It's kind of hard to see with that bright pink. It says Vera Bradley Foundation for Breast Cancer there on the front. And then Hope, Sweet Hope on the back. Um, I had a breast cancer foundation shirt from them that I got when I donated live tissue uh, back in November of 2010, I believe. And I got bleach on it somehow. Oh, I'm so upset. Um, so now I have a new shirt. Yay! And a pretty green color. So, yeah, they paid for our flight. They paid for, you know, obviously our meals, the Keta Blue, and then they had food there for us. I don't know how Vera Bradley people aren't like. 10 million bajillion pounds because they have a chef there for lunch and dinner. They have like little convenience stores in the design center and um, that you can get stuff, snacks, uh, nice cafeteria. Yeah, uh, granted they also have exercise facilities there on site, but, <laughs> but I tell you what, oh, so good. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all the gifts that Vera Bradley gave us um, and I'm so grateful for that so appreciative um and we're going to do reviews on the iconic stuff talk about the differences there um any suggestions for me of what you want to see down below in the gifts i want to do one on 311 because i really think it's a travel necess necessity now now that i've used it uh, myself um yeah it's it was an amazing trip and ideally they'd like to do it two three times a year um now the number of women i don't know how they exactly pick people, I'm not sure. Um, I'm very grateful for being one of the first to be chosen. Uh, I look forward to seeing uh, everybody at the annual sale in Fort Wayne. Um, but you could go on this trip too. It's very possible. Just be visible to the brand. Um, my, my logo or slogan for this is don't hate, participate. Um, it was a great trip. And, you know, if somebody else was doing this video of how awesome it was, I would be happy for them, too. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> uh, putting myself out there and letting know Vera know what big of, how big of a fan I am of Vera Bradley. Join Vera Bradley Buzz. Um, answer the questions. Get in there. Um, we are fairly strict. There are no sales, no coupon sharing, um, no, no negativity. Um, so if you do break those rules, you are booted right away, but that said, um, I know there are mistakes that are made, 
um, and just be visible to the brand. Get on Instagram, get on Facebook, get on any form of social media, Snapchat, um, to let them know how big of a fan you are to them um, so that you could possibly go on this trip too. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. We're going to do a trip video, another one, here shortly. Um, if you want to talk to me about any of these items that you've seen or anything that you have, um, or any gifts that you've received from Vera Bradley, um, would love to uh, hear about those. You can leave those in the comments down below. You can check out my blog. Um, you can the link down below for that as well. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook, The Amazing Shopper. I'll be posting behind the scene pictures post pictures of my trip. I've already posted a few. Um, definitely subscribe to the channel, Amazing Shopper, um, for giveaways and pop sugar videos and stitch fix and uh, more very Bradley reviews and seeing my massive collection that I'm still not done showing you all yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, check me out. I will talk to you later. Bye.